everybody assumes the A&M versus Bama game in Tuscaloosa will be a curb stomping by Alabama. How do you see it with the added drama? I don't think the added drama changes what the outcome's gonna be on the field. If you expect a curb stomping by Alabama, if Nick Saban's in that mood, okay? And if Alabama really is just that much better than A&M this year, there's one way this could change. And I would hearken you back to 2020, the COVID year. Remember when the previous season was the year of Joe Burrow and Ed Orgeron upset Bama. They did a lot of talking in the locker room afterwards. Well, the following year, LSU sucked water through a garden hose. They were terrible, but didn't matter to Bama. Bama goes to Death Valley. They're favored by like 30 points. We gave it out as a best bet on the show because I had heard people in that program, not fans, I mean people inside the program talk for all, all, ooh, I almost said the O word. Very close, very close to being fined by me. All off season, I heard people at Alabama say, it doesn't matter how bad they are, how good we are, doesn't matter what the spread is, we will, we will do terrible, terrible things to them. And they went in there like it was the Super Bowl, even though they were favored by 30, and I, it, they could have scored 100 that night if they wanted to. Uh, they had like 45 or 50 at the half. Well, anyway, I don't think the gap exists like that between Bama and A&M is my point. But if Bama were to start to pull away in this game this year, which I don't necessarily expect that kind of game, but if they were, I think it would probably be a case where Saban may add a 7 or a 14 spot more than he normally would. But I don't expect that. What I do expect is the build up to the game, the marquee around the game, will be very reminiscent of some of those classic Alabama LSU games. Cause Bama LSU was the biggest rivalry in the SEC for a long time. It, I mean, it meant every bit as much to the landscape as Alabama Auburn did. It, it meant more to the landscape than Bama Auburn did cause these two teams were perennial contenders more frequently than Auburn was. Bama's a contender every year. Take yourself to late September, take yourself to early October. Let's say both of these teams are undefeated or they have a maximum of one loss. That means you have conference championship implications and playoff implications, of course. But you also have, uh, for a full week or two or three, the repeat of the snippets that happened over the past week, playing on pod and TV and radio and everywhere in between. You will not be able to escape it. Who or whomst amongst us knows what's going to happen additionally between now and then. I think it will be one of the more charged environments that we've seen in a while. Because previously, if you really think about it, the big games Alabama's played, what have they consisted of? For the storyline crowd out there, what have the big games Bama's been in consisted of? They've played Clemson. That consisted of a team capable of beating them. That's about it. They have played Georgia. That's a team capable of beating them. That's about it. My point is, normally a big Alabama game just means that they're facing someone that's capable of beating them and, and they're capable enough where it's gotten the nation's attention. It's never personal though, because historically Nick Saban has not been involved in public personal feuds. Well, he is now he is. And so now we add that in and I think it's going to be a unique feel around the game. It's still several months away, but you have all the competitive fire. And then you also have, a dude leading a program in Jimbo Fisher that said a lot of things about you. He didn't allege him, he just outright said them that we've never heard publicly before. Aside from message boards, we've never heard actual powerful people like coaches traffic in that kind of, to steal a line from Conrad Thompson, rumor and innuendo. Well, it's here now. So I think it's gonna be um, very juicy. It's gonna be a, a very, very heated early October. I'm glad we don't have to wait until November for it.